Welcome to tutorial 3. In this tutorial we're going to look at how we can program the player ship to fire a laser. Um, make sure you have your main layer selected and you are on the game sheet. Um, first thing you're going to do is you're going to navigate on the project tab or menu and you're going to click and drag the laser object onto the screen or outside of the main screen but on the game sheet. So there we go, it's on the outside. Next thing, we're going to start programming the events. So if you click on the event sheet, you're going to add an event. Um, as you kind, of, you kind of build up objects on your screen, um, processing power does get used on the computer. So to help make things a bit more efficient, we're going to destroy or get rid of unused objects at the start of the game layout. So we're going to add the condition or a system condition to do that. We're then going to go down to on the start of layout. There we go. So at the start of the game, the actions that we want to have is we want to get rid of or the laser, which is sat outside of the actual main screen, not doing anything at the moment. So we want the laser, and at the start, we want it to be destroyed. We're going to do the same thing for the large asteroid as well. So we're going to add an action for the large asteroid to also be destroyed at the start of the layout. So there we go. So when the system starts, the laser gets destroyed and the large asteroid also gets destroyed. Um, we're going to click and drag this event to the top. So it's the very first thing that happens when the game starts. To do that, if you click on this little space here where the green arrow is, to select the whole event, just click and drag it all the way to the top. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to program the key presses to actually make the laser appear from the player ship. So if you go on add event, we're going to add a keyboard event. So if you click on keyboard, then select on key press. There we go. So on key pressed. The specific key we're looking for to fire the laser is the space button. Click OK and done. So when the space button is pressed, you're going to add an action again. The player spaceship okay, will spawn another object. So let's find that action. There we go, spawn another object. And it's going to spawn the laser object. There we go. It's going to spawn the laser object on layer 0, which is the main layer, and it's going to spawn it on image point 1. Okay, now, because the player ship has been created for you, there are specific image points on that player ship. Um, where different objects can spawn and image point one is basically the front of the ship so it will look like the laser is coming out from the front part of the ship basically click done on that okay and that has created the condition or the action to now spawn the laser at the front of the player ship next thing we're going to do is we're going to quickly program the collision event for the laser so if the laser collides with the large asteroid, the large asteroid will basically destroy. So we're going to add another event. We're going to add an event to the laser, a collision event specifically. So we want the laser. And then when the laser collides with another object. And the object we're looking for it to collide with is the large asteroid. Click done. When the laser collides with the large asteroid, what we want to happen is we want the large asteroid to destroy. There we go. We also want the laser to destroy as well. So if we add action again, we want the laser. And then again, we'll set that to destroy. There we go. So we've now programmed the laser collision event with the asteroid. When it, when they both collide, the asteroid and the laser will be destroyed. So if we test this out now, just quickly.
preview. There we go, we should see that. Okay, first, well, the asteroids appear. And if we press the space bar, a laser beam now appears that destroys the asteroids. 